Hello and Namaste beautiful yogis. How are you all? This is the last video in the three part series of prevention of lower leg pain. In this video, I'll show you some poses and techniques to pamper your legs. Let's begin. So the first thing that I'm going to do is take a foam roller. If you don't have a foam roller, maybe you can use a tennis ball. Take a foam roller, place your legs on the foam roller. Let's do one leg at a time. So I'm putting the right leg on, left leg is supporting, my palms are supporting. I'm leaning back slightly, lifting the hip off and I'm going to roll my leg on this roller. This is really great to release any soreness in your legs. Foam rolling is really underrated. And you can do this for up to one to two minutes. And we're going to switch legs. So left leg on the roller, taking it towards the ankle and that needs some extra attention. So you can place it based on where you're experiencing any kind of tightness or pain. You can change the side of your leg from middle to the inside to the outside. You know, wherever you feel like you can bring it a little higher if you need that attention. Whichever area needs attention, let's just use it there. Let's release this. You can use a pillow or a bolster for this next one. So we're going to lie down on our back. Take the knees over the pillow or the bolster. Lie down on the back. Bring it a little closer so that it's directly underneath the knees. You can let your knees fall out. Bring the soles of your feet together. If it is too high for you, we can use something lower, use a cushion or roll towels, roll blankets, you know, whatever is easily available for you. Stay here and breathe. It's a reclined quadris pose it is called. So your knees are falling out, kind of as in the bound angle pose. Excellent for your pelvic region. Beautiful for your hips. And relieves the tension in your legs. Let the legs relax. You can stay here longer for up to 10 minutes. This posture, also known as the reclining bound angle pose, stimulates your abdominal organs like your ovaries, prostate gland, bladder and kidneys. It also stimulates the heart and improves general circulation, stretches your inner thighs, groins and knees. It also relieves the symptoms of stress, mild depression, menstruation and menopause. For this next posture, we'll move the pillow or the cushion or whatever you're using towards the ankles, towards the lower extremities, lower part of the lower extremity. And we're going to rest our feet here, it's elevating our legs. So if this elevation is too little for you, you can use more pillows. You can make it as high as you need it to be. You can keep your legs up, straight up in the air as we do in Viparita Karniyasana or legs up the wall pose. If that is what is comfortable for you, I'm going at this level at the moment. And you can place your palms on your belly, connect with your breath. Let that blood flow reverse. Let your legs rest and relax. They do a lot of work for us. So they need some time up in the air. 
Eating your legs can benefit your health in several ways. It allows the blood to circulate back to the heart without fighting gravity. The heart still pumps blood to these extremities, but the stress on the heart is reduced. It also helps to mitigate swelling and brings fresh and oxygenated blood to the limbs. Again, you can stay here for up to 5 to 10 minutes based on the time you have. Once you're done, you can come out of this posture, bend your knees, roll over to one side, and come up. Apart from these techniques, you can also do hot and cold packs for your legs in case you're experiencing pain or even otherwise it's a good idea to do some hot and cold therapy alternatively during the week at least once and you can also use warm water soaks with epsom salt 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 with epsom salt so that really helps relax your legs to a great extent i hope you find these techniques and these postures useful bookmark this in case you have any requests please do let me know in comments below and do let me know if you like this video please Share this with your friends, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you for practicing with me. Thank you and Namaste.